In this video, I explain the meaning of IP ratings and what each of them means. Hello, this is Mr. Mobility. Have you ever wondered what those IP ratings for smartphones really mean? All of them. First and foremost, what does the IP stand for? It stands for Ingress Protection. Ingress Protection, IP. And what the rating does is measure the level of protection that is built into a device for dust and solid particles as well as water and liquids. An IP rating specifies two figures. There's a first digit and then there's a second one. So you, you see something like IP52, IP54, IP68. Now, the first digit in the IP rating is what represents solid and dust protection, while the second digit represents protection from water and liquids and they are paired together now each of those numbers mean something so when you see ip52 or ip52 there is something that it means let me run through what each of those digits or numbers mean for dust and then what they mean for liquid and then we'll pair a few common ones and look at the totality of what they mean so first for dust that's the first digit. So when I say the first digit, when, when you see IP52, 5 is the first digit and 2 is the second digit. So 5 represents protection from dust and solid particles, while 2 represents protection from water and liquid. For dust and solid protection, 1 stands for protection against solid objects greater than 50 millimeters such as a human hand yes you'll be surprised to find that yes you do not see a lot of devices rated ip1512 but that rating exists i mean you don't want your smartphone protected against your hand do you what will be the use <laughs> so two we're still under dust and solid Articles. Two, pro, two represents a protection against a solid object greater than 12.5 millimeters, such as finger. The next digit is three, and we're still looking at column for dust and solid particle protection. Three represents protection against a solid object greater than two millimeters, such as a wire. Four represents protection against a solid object greater than 1.0 millimeters, such as a thin strap. Again, you don't see IP4 something anywhere. So you can ignore that. But then we now come to IP, we now come to 5. And we see a lot of IP5 something all around us in smartphones. So what does that 5 represent under dust and solid particles? It represents protection from limited dust ingress. So there is some protection when your dust when when your smartphone has an IP5 something rating. There is a limited protection from dust. It's not complete. It's just limited. But when you get to six under dust protection, you are talking about full dust tight, full protection from dust. Dust cannot get into that phone or that device. There is no ingress of dust. Now that was dust cannot get in. Six is the maximum rating for dust and solid items for that first digit. Six is the maximum rating. So if you see an IP60 something or IP6 something rating for a smartphone, it means that phone is protected, is fully protected from dust and particles getting into it. Now let's go to the second digit, which is where water and liquid protection is represented now that column or that digit has up to nine levels dust has a maximum of six but for water and liquids we're going all the way to nine for the second digit which represents water and liquid one represents protection against water drops 
uh, your phone is lying down on the floor and maybe you have some water on your hand or sweat on your chin and while you are doing something over it, there's a drop of sweat, a drop of water from your hand to it. An IP something one, something they're representing dust, an IP something one will provide protection against such random drops of water. What about two? Two represents protection against water drops at a 15 degree angle, right? It's almost not a drop. It's almost like water is flung at a very shallow angle. So it's coming in almost like this. Imagine that you have dogs in your house and your dog does that. You know, your, your dog comes in from the rain or has just had a shower and then does that thing. Yes, you are likely to get water being flung at that angle, at that 15% angle. Imagine such sprays of water or drops of water hit your phone. A phone with IP something to protection. You will not have to worry about that phone getting damaged from that. What about three? Three represents protection against water spray at 60 degree angle. A 60 degree angle is a sharper angle. It's a much sharper angle. So we're beginning to talk of uh, water from a shower, water from rain, breezy, windy rain, that kind of a thing. IP something three provides protection from that kind of water. How about four? Number four represents protection against water splashing from any angle. So somebody threw water from a basin, blah, 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 blah. An IP something four provides protection against that kind of a thing. Next, what about five? Number five represents protection against water jets from any angle. Now, splashes of water are different from jets of water. So we're talking about water from a hose, right? Um, you're washing your car with, with a hose. There is a stronger force than just a spray, you know, than just somebody spraying water. If you're using a hose to wash your car or to do some watering in the garden and some of that mistakenly is directed at your phone, not a high pressure hose, regular hose, right? Sprinklers, light powered hoses, things like that. What about six? Six provides protection against powerful heavy jets. Yeah, so now you have a powerful hose, a powerful tap, that kind of a thing is where an IP something six provides you protection from. Let's move on to seven. An IP something seven provides protection against the effects of temporary submersion in water of no more than three feet for no more than 30 minutes. Three feet is about one meter. We're talking about your phone dropping to a depth of about one meter for no longer than 30 minutes. If it goes beyond one meter, trouble. If it stays at one meter for more than 30 minutes, trouble. Your phone can drop in water of up to one meter for 30 minutes and it will survive it. That's IP something seven. We're getting to the top. How about IP something eight? The number eight for water protection represents protection against the effects of permanent submersion in water for up to 13 feet. If your phone drops in water of no more than three meters, it is protected. If it has an IP something eight rating and finally nine ip something nine represents all the benefits of ip something eight plus protection from high temperature jets of water that's what ip 69 ip 69k represents an ip something nine rating means that the device is protected against high pressure high temperature jet sprays when you're doing steam cleaning when you're doing steam scrubbing of a device, you can actually do that and that smartphone or that device will survive it. Now, what is the difference between IP69 and IP69K? IP69K is even just more stringent. It's, it's much more tougher. It's talking about a higher level of protection against high temperature water jets and sprays. So if you have a device that is rated IP something nine, 
or IP something 9K, then you have the T-Rex of protection on your device. Let's try to look at some common IP ratings. In recent times, IP54 or IP54 has been common among budget devices. Those devices with an IP54 rating are protected from limited dust ingress as well as water splashing, splashing from any angle. They have limited dust protection and protection from splashes of water from any angle. That's IP54. IP68 is also one of the most common IP ratings found in smartphones. IP68. The 6 being in the first digit means that it has full protection from dust. No dust is going to get into that device. And then the 8 means that it is protected against immersion in water for up to 13 feet, about 3 meters. I mean, that's taller. I'm, I'm a little bit above 2 meters. That's a depth taller than myself. Anytime you see an IP rating, there are others. There's IP52, there's IP67. IP67 is also fairly common among upper mid-range smartphones. And what it means is that the device has complete dust protection and has protection against immersion in water for no more than three feet, which is about one meter, and for no more than 30 minutes. So if you have an IP67 phone and it drops in water, get it out of that water within 30 minutes. If it drops in water that's deeper than one minute, please do everything to get that immediately before the damage happens. Because once it's deeper than one meter, it can be damaged. As a rule, don't take your IP rated smartphone swimming. I just advise against it. I hope that you better understand what IP ratings are all about and how it works. You may find it difficult to memorize everything, but as a rule of thumb, IP67 to IP69 devices are the devices that you can submerge in water and that offer full dust protection. IP67, IP68, IP69, they offer you full dust protection and can be submerged in water. Every other IP rating below that provides only limited protection from dust and water. That's the rule of thumb. I'll see you in my next video.